On your controllers, the directional pad, which I'll refer to as thumbsticks, are used to move around. By pressing the thumbstick on either hand, left or right, this snap turns you 45 degrees. There is a toggle within options for smooth turning if you would prefer that over snap turning. There are several different movement modes available in NEOS, which you can access through the controller menus. Just press the controller menu button, and it'll open up around your controller. Pressing this button again closes the menu. Here's how this thing works. The item closest to this white selector here is what will be selected when you pull the trigger button with this controller. You can either twist your wrist to move the selector around, or you can use the thumbstick to rotate the menu. We can see here that the movement mode is currently set to fly. If you pull the trigger button a few times, it will cycle through all of the available movement modes. Teleport works like it does in other programs. Holding the thumbstick up will create an arc, and releasing the thumbstick will teleport you to that location. Pulling back on the thumbstick will nudge you back a little bit. In fly mode, pushing the thumbstick up or down moves you relative to the direction your controller is facing. So if you turn your controller so that it's across from your body and then press the thumbstick up or down, you'll move side to side instead of forward and backward. Grab mode currently uses what is called the secondary action button to work. If you hold down this button and push or pull the controller away, it moves you relative to your arm movement. Slide mode moves you along the top of surfaces whenever possible. This can be handy for keeping yourself anchored onto things such as a hilly landscape. Something I want you to notice is that changing the movement mode on one controller affects only that controller, so it is possible to have one hand set to fly mode and another set to teleport mode.